notes as a uh, as a video for later. I know I suffer from ugly syndrome, just like many of you. None of you suffer from it. Just me. I'm the only one. Nice. I know nice. I yeah, this is a this is a big improvement ugly syndrome. from uh, from last week. I know I suffer from ugly syndrome, just like many. Let's see how we can push it though. Okay, so first of all, there's like a one frame little uh, glitch right here. Probably just an extra key on that neck. Yeah, it's an extra key on the neck somewhere. So just go into the graph editor and then delete that out and you should be good. So I'll, wait, so I can, I can like draw in here somehow, I believe. Let's see, uh, this is possible. Oh, Sammy is active. Sammy! <laughs> So apparently you guys can scrub and then it like carries to all of us. That's pretty wild. I didn't know that. Um, please don't My brief, didn't brief know us. <laughs> I didn't either. Not your B. Just a uh let's see, how do we how do we do some set tracing paper, semi-transparent layer for sketches? Okay. Trace opacity, maybe. Maybe this. So, oh wait, what? Let's see. There's got to be. There is a way to draw over this, right? Oh man. Sketches are invisible. Sketches are visible. Okay, those are just more links. Hell yeah. Um, I, I swore that there was a way to have. There is, that's the whole appeal of sketch of this, this weird. Right, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's in the name, sync sketch, you know. I would uh, hope that there'd be a way for us to do that. Um, shoot. Um, under this share settings, that, uh, the, huh, weird. Actually, one second. Sorry, guys. Just getting used to some new new media. Um, sort of that's the jam there we go that's the jam i know i suffer from ugly syndrome there we go just like many of you none of you ugly syndrome just like many of you none of you <laughs> suffer from it just me drop the beat damn um let's see this one is Sorry, one second, folks. Yeah, okay. So this is so I stole I stole one of y'all's and then uploaded it myself. So the uploader gets this sort of view. Uh, I think um who says this? Ray, could you make sure that we have that that, that you're sharing this with like external collaborators and, and it's like not um not blocked because I, I think I think that might be 
preventing us from something. Otherwise, we'll have to do something else. But yeah, I'll just carry on with the notes for now, though. Um, actually, hmm. if you're messing with that, then you might not get the notes. Let's see. All right, so we got we got most of y'all in here. Um, interesting. So Ricardo's link is different. It's this playground thing. Let's see if this let's see if this one allows. Yeah. So this one has. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. All right. So um, Ricardo, do you know how you got that? How your link is. Playground rather than uh, like sketch. Though these should be usable. Let me let me just open these up. Yeah, everyone else's is fine. You can draw on theirs. Oh yeah, everyone's is. What the? Wow. Dang. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is, this is dope. There we go. Okay. So most of these work. Um. Let me oh yeah this one's just the the video let's see let's see if ray updated it and we can do something in there now oh, no it doesn't look like it all right well I'll, I'll just carry on with the notes then sorry about that sorry about that um but yeah so there's a, a head pop right there at like frame 30 33 there we go 34 um so I just Smooth that out. No, I suffer from ugly syndrome, just like many of you. Syndrome. I really like the the, the mouth on ugly syndrome on, on ugly syndrome. Ugly syndrome. Uh, the upper lip does get like a little bit like tucked upward though. I would I'd pref I'd prefer like like whenever you do that, it's like kind of like um like ugly syndrome. Like when it, let me let me at least look at my mouth. Ugly syndrome. I I deal with ugly syndrome. Uh, like I, you don't really bring that up for that right there. That uh, when you bring that upper lip, that's kind of like like if you're like about to like maybe fight and you're being really aggressive, you might bare your teeth like aggressively. Uh, or if you like if you like smell a really weird smell, it's primarily for like disgust, you know. From ugly syndrome. Which I, I think, and right here you see that, that this is like the silhouette that I'm saying, like it's a little bit too high on the teeth. I would, so I'd lower these down on, on frame, uh, like 60, let's go up, 69 to 73. I'd keep that, that upper lip a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, let's just keep playing. I know I suffer from ugly syndrome, just like many of you. Some of the rotations on the hand, on the hands, right, right here. So see how gestures out. And I'm talking about this hand down here, and then it kind of rotates back in. So first of all, that this pose is pretty unnatural. To like, if you if you if you take your own hand and you try, like, if you just try to move that this way, you don't have much range of motion there. Um, to get it to the side. So this, this is an unnatural pose. So I, I would say favorite in terms of uh, like keeping this wrist a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter into that. And um, like, like more akin to this. So make that, instead of it rotating out, um, have it more like this. Like see how this is kind of a, a straighter line. Cause it, it, like I said, you, we don't have much range of motion that way. We have much more that way, much more, and and much more this way and that way. That's like our weakest point of, of rotation on that wrist. Um, so watch out for that. But I do like this silhouette more is the thing, right? So I do like this sort of outspread kind of appealing to the audience. I suffer with ugly syndrome, like being very open. So maybe in order to get this sort of silhouette, you just keep this wrist straight down and, but keep the arm out a little bit more, 
ugly syndrome, maybe even get a little bit of overlap on those wrist ugly syndrome. I suffer with it, you know, so, so we get something nice and graceful into that. We're all, we're always looking for, for graceful arcs and naturalistic movement. Um, it's, it's also good to think about like when we're doing like this sort of pantomime thing, uh, think about how stage actors sort of act. They, they do everything kind of extra, a little bit extra. And that's kind of that Disney qualities that they're doing things extra, you know, because it, it helps to make things read, you know, because we, the viewers only going to see this scene once. If this was in a movie and it's got to read on that first one, you know, so don't be afraid to, to, to go a little bit extreme there. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Lee syndrome, just like many of you. Lee syndrome, just like many of you. I like this, just like many of you. Um, let's see, how could we? How could we from ugly syndrome, just like many of you. Again, I, I would get I would get a little bit of overlap on here. Notice how this this front hand is already like it's it's just like many of you like see how rigid my wrists are here. So uh, we want to be like kind of more uh, what is it methodical, uh, purposeful with our 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 wrists here, just like many of you like get a. Get something there. Don't do it too much. They're gonna look like a conductor, but like get a little bit in there. It will add to the naturalism of, of the of the scene. Also on, on this, so at, at this part, when this head goes back, ugly syndrome, just like many. Just like many of you, so I, I like the I like the just like many of you. So having that near the the dialogue there, um, the eyes, however, just go up and, and down. So it really it, it kind of breaks the illusion that this character is truly alive. You know, in this part right here, see this? See how the eyes just kind of blankly stare out and then and just follow one to one with the with the. Uh, with the head so if you if you break that up either by hiding it with a blink so just like many of you like see it see how i blink on the way up and the way down uh or uh what you what you can also do is track the audience for a little bit on the way up and then over like two frames just slide that control up basically the way that the human eye works and i said this last time is that like when when we're looking at things we're always tracking it's, it's, it's really hard for us to process images that are, are, are constantly moving like this. We're good at uh, tracking onto things. And that includes things that are moving, right? So if like a, it's like a predator is like coming after us, we're good at tracking that. Um, but the same goes for these acting scenes. Like when, when, I'm, like when I'm talking to you guys, like I, my, my eyes are constantly focusing on different points in the room. Uh, and so, so our animation should be the exact same way. Like we should constantly be like snapping to, to focal points. Um, and, and, but like, don't, don't go like too far out of your range. Cause then it will look like they're frantic, you know? Cause like, if you're frantic, you're constantly like looking over here, over here, over here. So, so that, that's, that's good for like a frantic scene, but like for something like this, I would just be, I would, if I was in the mind of this character, they're addressing a, a, a a community so they I, I would have them kind of just focusing on like fake heads off the screen right they would just be focusing on these people maybe even stare at the floor a little bit because they're kind of not engaging with the audience because they call them straight up ugly in the scene so yeah keep that in mind as well from ugly syndrome just like many of you, you. none of you suffer from it just me i'm the only one yeah, I, I like I like this end pose too. Very it, arm across the the character. It's very sheltered. Um, you might even think about having this other other hand a little bit raised too in the scene to like to like eat for even more like protection. You know, like because they they bring this across because they're like ooh kind of messed up. 
this maybe maybe engaging that hand rather than having it just off screen that might be interesting um but yeah i love that pose that really that really communicates that she's like oh i messed up definitely shouldn't have said that uh none of you suffer from it i would so for this part that the hands are kind of out here and then and then the realization hits the eyes and then the hands raise up i would i would kind of sync those up a little bit more so instead of, like instead of it being like ooh, like it, i would just have it be one just to just to really punch on that note of being like this is when i realized i said something awkward you know and we gotta move on from there you know um that's pretty much it. Yeah, this, this is going along really nicely. This is really nicely. And I really hope I can help you fix that um, that one issue with the controls because I, I don't want you to see I, I don't want you to see you uh, ditch this scene. Uh, that should that's not an option. Like this is this is good stuff. I want to see where this goes. Uh, but yeah, awesome work. Anyone else have any, any notes for Ray? Feel free to drag the timeline to wherever you're gonna talk about. No, just exactly what you said. Nice, nice. All right. All righty. Let's see. Let's see. Thanks for sharing, Ray. That was good. Yeah, that was that was a big improvement over last week as well. I can see that you're getting you're getting a lot better at uh, kind of stabilizing uh, the character and also making things feel more purposeful. Um, because like a lot of the a, a lot of like starting out problems in animation is that you'll see a lot of like rotation without purpose there's still a little bit like I, when I, I was talking about that wrist when when she brings them down at the beginning uh it, it's but but you're you're getting so much better at it it's really nice uh david i think you did a great job animating the eyes and expressions you get the yeah right the 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 facial acting is really good maybe we, we might be able to from ugly syndrome i i would like if you think about this syndrome sorry this is just one bonus note sorry about this so like i suffer from ugly syndrome i would kind of raise up the eyebrows in almost a questioning manner because think about how they're they're think about how their voice is flowing through that scene ugly syndrome like a, it's like syndrome like it's it's kind of like I, I would raise the eyebrows there a little bit. But yeah, no, this is, this is, this is great. Just, uh, yeah, track those eyes onto something. And I, I think you're, I think you're set. I think you're set. Um, all right, all right. Next one. Let's see. Tam. Let me is this stuff there we go all right what do we got from tam let's see you smell of death and destiny heroics and heartbreak it's onion <laughs> you smell of death and destiny heroics and heartbreak yeah yeah it's onion. This, this is an improvement you smell of death from uh and destiny heroics from uh from last week you can definitely you'll you'll definitely benefit from tracking the uh, this this ik hand onto this wrist getting this one really fixated on there because you can see that it it um it just drifts through um but i mean we, we all know like what you're intending to do with that right so that, and that, that's just a simple like you just set up that little thing that i did in the last last class and then uh Red nine it that until it moves. So yeah. Um, and I can see you yeah, so this see how the, the waist goes into that step on on this is so that stepping onto that leg. I love that. That's good. That's really good. Because that's where that's where the weight's going, right? That leg has to support all of Zelda, so it's gonna to need to sway that way. I would say that the the way that it lunges across for this one is a slightly too fast. Um, looks like a, 
See that? It, it looks smell of death. a little bit less natural than that first one. You smell of like, death. Look at look at how smooth that first one was. You smell of death. And then the second one just sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, so yeah, they try, try to get that a little bit slower, a little bit smoother. Um, also, keep in keep in mind, I can see that there's like a uh, there's a hyper extension right here on that on that back foot. Oh, or not, not not really, but it just kind of pops. Smell of death. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so try to get that a little bit smoother as well. Um, and keep in mind that your your hips slightly go down with each step, right? Like in that it, when your when your legs are most spread apart, that's when you're gonna be pretty low. Uh, mm. And then you you stay low while it's compressing, and then it starts to go up. So get a little bit of a little bit of Y axis up and down for this. Okay. Um, Obviously, the, the character lunges down at like frame one nineteen. So keep them heartbreak. Keep them. Keep them. Uh, at, like don't don't do like the one frame changes. You know, I think that's just a mistake key. Just like the last one on the neck. But... Okay. Yeah. This this pose right here, um, it, it could work, but that this other leg is going to need to be further forward. So if you if you want to hit, if you want to get this this sort of angle in there, you're going to need this foot crossing over, because right now it looks like it's pretty imbalanced, right? Yeah. So if you get that crossing over, and then everything else pretty pretty solid so get at this frame this leg would have to be over here um but yeah good stuff good stuff again just more tracking of that and um this the forward hand is going to be annoying because it's, it's popping right because in the, the in the pose destiny Right, and it's like outstretched, um, but with that, it's kind of, it's it's like right on the brink, right? And so that's yeah. really, it's really, that's the, honestly the downfall of IK controls is that when you get to the outer bounds, they get really jittery like that. So it's just going to take some refinement um, to try to keep that at a at a constant rate. Um, your graph editor will get a little bit more complicated too because you're just going to have keys on like these frames that are really close to each other just to try to get that stabilized i just i i usually just walk through it um frame by frame and visually track them you know to try to keep this to try to keep it at a constant rate um, is there is there anything where you can like switch from ik to fk for like certain Scenes like would that, mm -hmm. is that also absolutely. I, if you yeah, I, I'm I'm glad that you you're you're kind of thinking like that because I think FK would you know benefit this part and uh, yeah, you could just simply um, snap a, a locator to the wrist, snap a locator to the elbow, and then uh, snap that back to your um, so, that, like, so you'd snap those right, and then you'd switch to FK over one frame right. Because IKFK switches always do that over one frame, mm -hmm. and then uh, you just match that rotation again. So then, then okay. it, it would just pop back into the exact same spot. No one would know that you're switching between IK and FK over that frame, besides us. And then it, it would be a lot easier to stabilize. However, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to counter animate the up and down of the of the torso to get some naturalism into that hand. Otherwise, it's gonna look like. It's just one to one, and you're gonna get this sort of effect that's gonna be very unappealing, you know. Yeah, so, that's so yeah, trying, yeah. So I, I like where I love where your mind's at, though. That yeah, you're thinking of like when could I use IK versus FK because that's, you know, it's a little bit of a mystery starting out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm seeing. The foot plants, yeah, I, yeah, I suppose you could you could either plant it forward like right there, or make the waist a little bit slower. That way, it would make sense where it, with where it is right here, um, because see how it kind of hits the waist, kind of hits a wall. 
Mm-hmm. And then that leg comes through because I like this this pose, you know. It, it, that's that's getting there. That that looks natural to me, you know. But we, we would need this waist a little bit delayed throughout here in order for this back foot to catch up. So either either way is gonna work, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I'm thinking of like dealing the audio because it does clip him too quickly. So I can just, yeah, so I'll just get in that pose and then like switch to link. Oh, like during this? Yeah, like. Yeah, like once our hands go up, like I think it switches the link really quickly. So I was like, I thought I'd like extend the audio, but like put in a couple of, like a second at least. Oh, oh, right here. You're going to extend it like in this area? Yeah, yeah. Just take the hole that pose. Mm, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that idea. That's completely on the board too for y'all. If you guys want to add a little bit of time in the in the audio for the, for the, the animation, then by all means. Like, because you could do, you, yeah, you could definitely do something in this heartbreak. area. Heartbreak. Like, heartbreak, like it, or like, like get, get like that heartbreak, you know, like feel, feel the sort of pain of, of this character thinking about heartbreak a little bit and then hit them with the, it's onion. I, I really like that. I really like that. It's onion. It's onion. Break. It's onion. Yeah, yeah. It's onion. It's onion. And and for this, put put a little bit of motion on 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 Link there because uh, even though that uh, he's like saying a stoic line in a stoic pose, like it's onion. Like there'd still be a little bit of ambient mm-hmm. movement in there, it, even if like a even like a very very subtle like shrug, like a, it's onion. Like there's something, something like that, or like it's onion, like some, mm-hmm. something to kind of punctuate that note, you know. So yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah I get something in there. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is fantastic. Though. I'm, I'm really excited to see where this turns out. The smell of death. Let's see. Smell of death and destiny, heroics and heartbreak, and destiny, heroics, death. You smell of of death and destiny i would say we could benefit from this head if if, if, just watch the head by itself here and watch how kind of slowly it goes into each of these different poses you smell of death and destiny heroic so if if i was to pantomime that you smell of death and destiny in her, so it's like it's kind of like just going like this it's kind of disconnected mm-hmm. so i'd say on on each of those different notes you smell of death like keep keep the head tracked there for a little bit longer like just looking and destiny like and that like and destiny like have have that be the sort of transition and destiny you know mm-hmm. and heroics so like uh, each of those we're basically just going to separate out into its own separate note right instead of having the the head kind of just go through all those slowly you know uh i think yeah. i think it would benefit from that as well um this, some of the some of the lip sync is a little bit off you smell of death yeah and destiny so, so that'll that'll just be dragging through and and matching it up so it's, it's mm-hmm. nothing nothing too 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 big to handle there but i like i like what your eyes are doing here like the, the this sort of it's like a half blink. You might you might want to commit to a full blink, especially when you if you keep the head and then move it on the end uh, and destiny. You might want to do a full blink there. Uh, yeah, and I, I would keep it up a little bit higher for this. Um, keep the face kind of turned up and. Maybe a little bit of a downturn there, um, but still looking towards the front, nose up, and then on and on destiny, then lower. But yeah, this is coming along really well. 
Okay. And th I like this. Uh, this is exactly what I'm talking about with that, like over, overacting sort of like, mm, man, like how the hands fold out. Like, yeah, like th that's perfect. I love this. Heartbreak. Uh, they do hit a wall. If you look at this mm. one. Oh so yeah, I see. See, I just stops moving right there. So, so have it do a little bit of overshoot. Heartbreak. You know, like something in there to give it a little bit of a little bit more naturalism. You know. Um, yeah. But yeah, awesome work, awesome work. Anyone, anyone else have some, uh, some, some feedback? Feel free to drag the video around. Feel free to let us what you let us know what you're thinking. I got a comment one more time on the audio. It's, oh, Tam, fucking fantastic choice. Did you find this audio yourself or did you like, did you make it? I don't know. I remembered the scene from like The Witcher and I was like, oh, I think I can do that with these two. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's good. It's nice. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, this, I, I love the audio for this. This is, this is good, like perfect for this sort of assignment. David says the camera work is really seamless throughout the scene. If you could extend the audio on Link's part, you can have him sniff his side and say it's onion. You could add the that's that's interesting. Yeah, I I, I like this as well. Kind of they were really like crafting a scene. Um, but yeah, we only we do have one only. Uh, this is our last week on the assignment, so uh, make sure we you, you give yourself time to to polish things up, make it look mm -hmm. nice and clean. But yeah, if I uh, have time, I think I'll definitely try and put that in if you like it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You can even put in like the like a like a sniff sound effect, you know, <laughs> like that. That'd be great. Yeah, that sounds dope. Um, but yeah, just make sure make sure you you budget for for time. I know it's, mm -hmm. it's busy. Uh, but yeah, I think that no one else has has added anything. But yeah, thanks for sharing. Thanks for for the notes guys awesome stuff all right so ray tam david is up next david what you got for oh yeah this <laughs> right, let's see where this is where this is going it's making us all crazy crazy hey there's painting the king of the holocaust ryan gosling playing you ridiculous <laughs> It's making us all crazy. Crazy! Hitler's <laughs> painting! The king of the Holocaust! Ryan Gosling playing you! <laughs> Ridiculous! It's making us all crazy. Oh, crazy! Hitler's <laughs> painting! The king of the Holocaust! Uh, <laughs> Ryan Gosling playing you! Ridiculous! I, I love the lighting in this <laughs> scene. <laughs> like, this is gonna be so good. In fact, it, it might it might be cool. It, it might be cool if you, if you save. Oh, sorry. If you if you have like a light up above that they lean into on like the ridiculous, you know, because when it's like really close, that that might be cool as well to have. Like have have one in right right here, you know, to kind of get like that like over the eyebrow and like dark under the eyes and then you have this side lighting i don't know it, 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 it's up to you but uh but yeah king is all crazy crazy and there's painting the so when, when these arms go down right here they're like all right, so crazy and then they then they fly back into this pose i like this pose it has got it's got like it's got a lot of sort of dynamics to it and sort of how these arms flow um i would say feel free to delete the key on the hands right here uh like there, there's some there's some there's like a, a halfway key that kind of gives when it's like all linked together, it kind of gives these hands like a 
little bit of like a spazzing out, but not in like a controlled spaz out, which is what we're kind of looking for. Um, so I, yeah, I like this. So you, you could crazy. So like like instead of instead of having it crazy, you know, you could you could kind of crazy. So so like the explode out on the crazy and like or on the crazy or on, on the CR. And then as it, as that word goes crazy, you know, kind of activate some more of that those shoulders, kind of bring them a little bit up and screen. Crazy, you know. Um, also, something to, to for everyone to note is like look at the watch the torso, right? And these arms move crazy, crazy. a lot, right? Crazy, crazy. But that that torso is kind of just slowly, slowly going to one side. You know, when those arms go down, that that's going to. I mean, your arms are a decent amount of mass, right? So when that happens, this body is going to get some of that sort of movement on it. So you're going to, need to add a little bit of a little bit of. Uh, Let's see what what would, what would he... Yeah, so right now it's like a really smooth it's like a really smooth rotation on there, right? But uh one the 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 dialogue is saying crazy again like, and this person is clearly insane. So I would say you could you could do with breaking that up a little bit. It's going to take a lot of a lot of minute sort of just like like I, and I'm, I, this is why I preach that you film yourself doing this. Absolutely, because like, if you get if you get something nice that you can observe, you're gonna see a lot of like minute kind of moving in the in the body and the core during that sort of motion. And I I, I can't recommend looking at that enough. Um, let me turn back the sound. Stay crazy. Hey, there's painting. So I would delay these hands. Day. See how they see how they go like this before he even says like Hitler's paint. Like he, before he even goes to any of that. Day. Hitler's so it's like it's like the the arms already knew what the next line of dialogue was and just waiting for it rather than naturally experiencing it. Crazy Hitler's paint. So like I, I would say. You, you you draw back on crazy stay out on crazy uh, for for a while and then hitler's painting like really clamp down on that note you know with with these with this whole pose hitler's painting the king of and then also a lot of sliding on these feet down here uh that's going to take some some work to get out of of the of the scene but yeah try to prevent that it just immediately like because that's like a basic you know that's just like ba basic gravity you know so as soon as our eyes see that someone's kind of defying gravity then it like really like um breaks the the illusion of the scene you know um there's painting the key to the holocaust so yeah and then this the i, I, I like what where these poses are going as well it's just the timing on getting there. I think it needs a little bit of adjustment. <laughs> Look at his face there. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so good. There's um, painting. So yeah, it's the same same issue on this one, right? So Hitler's painting. Hitler's painting, and then kind of like a a slow a slow rotation over, and he's be. Hitler's painting, and he kind of dwells on that for a little bit. The key to the Holocaust. So, so yeah, break those, break those two notes to be very distinctly separate. Because right now they they kind of in between to them. There's painting the key to the Holocaust. But yeah, I, I like the. Yeah, so I, I basically I, I like your posing and what the, what it's communicating, but the, the 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 timing on getting 
to there just needs uh, some polishing, right? So just make sure wherever you are in the scene, you just get there at the right time, right? So that that, that pose is reading clear. Also, <laughs> just like these big rotations like this, that 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 doesn't quite work with the 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 body mechanics of it because it it just kind of looks very um, looks very like marionette, you know, which uh, it kind of kind of breaks the illusion of the scene as well. You? Ridiculous. Yeah, I love the I love how the, yeah this. Oh, man. You? But yeah, like, like this Ryan Gosling playing you, and then kind of it, it slowly goes into the pose. I would have that just follow the you. Like if you think about that, Ryan Gosling playing you, ridiculous, you know. So yeah, basically, my only feedback is match, match the uh, match the, the the notes of the dialogue. A little bit more with your posing because I, lo I love the posing um and then also yeah yeah ab abide abide to physics a little bit you know so w whenever you're doing a big action with the body you're going to see that that equal and opposite reaction in the torso you know so like if i if i if i like just go over to the side you know really fast like you, you see that you, you can see my body sort of that like reverberates through my body you know like, so it's not like, we're not just like one stiff thing, even though I was like flexing and holding my core there. When I did it, you can still see, you can still see when this stuff happens, you know? So yeah, just, I recommend just filming yourself doing this and uh, really, really analyzing that footage closely. Full lighting really adds to this. Oh my God. Yes, Ray, 100%. Yes. It's so good. <laughs> Uh, man. Yeah, no, it is, it is fantastic though. I, I love this. I love this. This is <laughs> the facial expressions uh, as well are really well done. extra notes comments david's been david's been commenting on y'all so you know i should uh, return the return the favor i think the note with the lighting uh was really really good this is actually really really fucking perfect um first off i love that it's blue uh, i think most times People are too afraid to get colorful with the lights because they want to be very serious or have a certain tone. But this is, works really well with it because you're kind of playing off of the moodiness of the blue light with this very comedic line. Uh, and so I think it's I think it's really really well. Uh, I don't know. It helps a lot. I think I like it. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Like I really like everything. Blooding is really dope. Who boy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. This is this is great. Again, David is uh, showing how uh, he's definitely into the whole crafting of the scene aspect. You know, um, I'm not sure if it's lagging, however, but I think your lip sync might be just a tad off. Cannot tell properly because my internet shot the hell today, so I'm probably just lagging. Uh, let's, 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 we can go back and check. It's making us all crazy, crazy. Hey, there's painting. It, it's a little bit off. It's a little bit off. Yeah. It's making us all crazy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And that, that'll just, that's why I recommend the mirror because if you just watch yourself saying these, you can, you can really dial in what, what your mouth looks like while you're, while you're watching it. The slight change in camera direction at the very end somehow makes it more imposing than the head-on view you had in the previous version. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, right? It looks like someone someone's being like interrogated almost, you know. Uh, you know, Tom going on acid acid trip is just peak. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Phenomenal stuff. 
It's making us all crazy. Crazy! Hey, there's painting! The king of the Holocaust, Ryan Gosling, playing you? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Thank you for sharing, David. Good stuff. I'm I'm excited to see where that one ends up. That's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be wild. Uh, let's leave that open and then just open this one into it. All right. Oh. I'm more like in this posing. Imagine trying to move by vomiting out of a giant straw and flapping your skirt around very, very fast. That is how a cuttlefish do. Imagine trying to move by vomiting out of a giant straw and flapping your skirt around very, very fast. That. <laughs> Imagine trying to move by vomiting out of a giant straw and flapping your skirt around very, very fast. So, so for this scene, one, I think the, the actual lip sync is like spot on. Uh, been trying to move by vomiting out of a like giant I've been working straw. On mostly after that head tilt, I haven't been focusing on the movement because I'm going to be editing that in once the lip sync is done. Which almost, it's almost done. Um, Absolutely. And then yeah. Have him move around because I yeah. think it'd be harder to check the face. Basically, the the only thing is that like the the head, or or you can keep this like a pretty subtle scene, you know, like you could just kind of do like because the, the dialogue is sort of monotone. Uh, so you, I'm not getting much sort of expression in that. Um, I would just have the the head sort of like like the 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 upper torso and head. And, and hands do some subtle, more like more subtle animation to, to punctuate each of these notes. Like, let's see. Imagine trying to move by vomiting out of a giant straw. Like on the giant straw. Like I imagine like a, a head going a, a little bit forward, lowering, having that torso kind of kind of bend back in a giant straw, you know, like straw. I'm just trying to feel how that, that like I'm imagining that character is like moving in that moment with it. I'm trying strong, you know, like it's a very declarative sort of, yeah, and he like pulls out that note too. So I think we should mirror that in the, the animation itself. And flapping your skirt around very, very fast. That is how a cuttlefish do. Yeah, that, that I mean, it'll just take some, some time to get in that, get that in there. Um, one, you are going to dislike these elbow contacts and keeping those clean. <laughs> like that's gonna be that's gonna be annoying. Uh, Imagine once you start fine. moving that's that okay. torso. Yeah, it'll it'll just require some finagling. Some definitely definite finagling for sure. I'm I'm finagling already. I'm trying to get the tongue because it doesn't have a control. I'm using the mesh itself and putting keyframes on the mesh, and so it's a little hard. <laughs> so uh but that's okay. The giants. They have, a, they have the word the in there. In my acting video reference, I have my tongue sticking out a little farther than normal. So I'm trying to mimic that and it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that, that would be. <laughs> that would be, especially when there's not controls for it. Is there a way to duplicate frames instead of copying them? Because when I copy and paste the frame itself after moving it, it kind of pastes it in a weird, wonky, altered state um if, if it's pasting okay so so i've noticed that like sometimes if you if you select the controls that you're trying to copy and then uh you do some stuff after you copy it and then paste it um something about that selection order gets a little bit weird yeah so uh basically what it's doing is if you're if you're messing with like upper lip control and then you you do some stuff sometimes that selection order can be like oh i'm gonna paste bottom right lip control to upper left lip control now so just be sure whenever you're copying and pasting you don't do anything in between 
you just select the controls, right click, copy, drag a timeline, right click, paste. Like, don't do anything in between because that can, I've, I've noticed that that can kind of confuse Maya sometimes. Um, also, I've noticed that sometimes you just have to do it multiple times for it to get like the, the right, the right frame copied over. Uh, just some Maya mysteries happen, you know? Uh, so yeah, just, just keep, keep trying that. Um, let me know, let me know if it's not doing that because there, there could be some other control that's, uh, doing work on that area. Say like how you have those, you have all those fine lip controls, right? But then you also have that macro control over there that can affect the lips. So make sure you select that control as well. Um, but yeah, so. Hope that hope that uh, that helps. Yeah, it does. Uh, what I'm gonna do because it's the tongue and it doesn't have any controls attached to it, as far as I know. I'm going to just save that frame twice before I move it, and then just move that second saved frame behind where the movement would be. Mm, okay. That way, it's the exact same position. Okay. Yeah, that, that should work. I think. Um, let's see what else. Skirt around very very fast. That is how a cuttlefish do. This is how a cuttlefish do. Yeah, this is yeah. That's as those are pretty much my notes. Um, what you've done so far is like really good. The the lip sync is like giant, pretty spot on. I'm a giant to see. straw and flapping your skirt around very very fast. To move by vomiting out of a giant straw and. Some of the upper lip gets a little bit weird right here. So see how like he's like raising it on 85 and then raises it in the front. On like, on 91, I would kind of like maybe combine it with giant straw, like just kind of bring that a little bit more subtle over there. Yeah, I noticed it was going up and down in that area. I was trying to fix that. Yeah, yeah. Straw and flapping your skirt around very, very fast. Yeah. That, that yeah, no, that's you can even copy, you can even select all like the those face controls and grab other poses. Like like if you really like a mouth shape, like like one of these, you can just feel free to copy that and then paste it on any vowel that sounds the same way. Like oh yeah, any Oz, yeah. you know, rather than like recrafting that from the start, you know. That makes sense. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just to speed it up a little bit, because then you have, I think, the second most dialogue in the class. <laughs> uh, but I like yeah. I like to suffer. I mean, art, uh, you know, comes with a lot of suffering. So I'm glad you're you're uh, willing to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Any any other notes for Benny? Any notes at all? Comments, questions. What movement really gives off that posh accent? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I I think it's I think it's really well done. Really well done. This is like more of a suggestion for like midway through the the dialogue. He can like look back and do something with his hands to try to explain what the hell he's saying. And then at the when he's at the last line when he says what the cutterfish do, he just looks back at the camera. By vomiting out like, of a giant straw. Like and wish I could I mean I probably could just send you guys my reference video for all the <laughs> acting on it, because all oh. the suggestions you guys are making actually have all those in there. Oh, and, but I look goofy as fuck, and my girlfriend's in the background, so I'm not gonna show it. Otherwise, oh, I would. Damn, damn, <laughs> see the animation it. though. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I I trust you. I trust you. I I I bet you got some good reference in there. But yeah. But I am taking you guys' feedback. Don't worry. I am listening to you guys. I'm hearing you. So thank you very much. Maybe a super slow track in with your camera while he talks. I I like that idea. Yeah, I, I could. Imagine yeah. trying to move like, by vomiting like, out of a giant very straw gradual. and flapping yeah. your skirt around very, very fast. That is how a cuttlefish do. Yeah, that that kind of, kind of would add some some interest to the, to the camera of the scene, just kind of like because these guys are just monologuing about cuttlefish, you know. And yeah, I think I think that yeah, 
I think that could definitely you could you could still keep it like zoomed out enough at the end to to capture like the the upper body you know um but yeah you can still you, you could definitely do that uh with that idea um but it is your scene you know so if you don't if you're not feeling it then you know it's up oh, to you also i uh, figured out the tongue and i finished it i just gotta move the mouth around it so i'm happy with that hell yeah take that rig not having enough controls <laughs> Benny complained about free rigs and their controls. Benny, how could you? They're great. They're fantastic. I love them. But just <laughs> my tongue. <laughs> All right. Fantastic stuff. Let's see. What else we got? What else you got? Sammy up next. Let's wait. This way we go. Let me close this one. Hello. Did I ever tell you about the time that I found a dead body? <laughs> yeah, I like this. This is. Hello. Did I ever tell you about the time that I found a dead body? Yeah, yeah. The, so these, you're gonna run into the same problem as Benny. So once you start, Hello. once you start introducing, Hello. like a, on a second. Let's see. Like on on just just talking strictly about body mechanics, when he reaches for the phone, you, you would have you're gonna have that uh, that contact right on the on the on the ground right there or on the on the couch, and then as they reach, they're gonna kind of pivot that body over that elbow a little bit to grab, just very subtle, you know. But uh, but yeah, just a little bit of torso movement in there will really add to that. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be difficult to kind of track that elbow. Uh, I find what's easiest to do is take that little, um, that little pull vector, right? That little multi arrow thing that controls where that elbow is pointing. Uh, as long as it's an IK, uh, remember this, that's an IK sort of feature. Uh, if you take that and kind of just stabilize it onto the, onto the couch there and just leave it, then you're you're free to sort of move that torso, but you'll see that um, if you move the torso towards it, it's going to kind of like uh, go th start slipping through the couch. So you just have to be careful about like where that is. You can always compensate with your uh, clavicle, you know. So if I notice how I have my elbow resting on my on my desk now, and I can I can move my torso around a lot, and that that clavicle kind of can just absorb some of that compression you know um it may it'll make it a lot easier to uh to keep that clean hello and then i, I like i like that you, you you did end up going with the the inspecting the, the nails I, I like the i like the dynamic feature of like these eyes as well you're really you're really getting some nice squashing and stretching in there um let's let's get this to the audience. Hello. I I would say as they grab the phone, you might wanna you, you might wanna glance over there just for a little bit to like because like if, if if they're staring off this way, it does show that they're kind of divorced from whatever the phone has to offer to them. Uh, I had that in there originally, but it was just really quick. Really quick, yeah. Did, taking it out, but um, did it end up looking weird? Because I could see yeah, it with the timing that it might look weird. Kind of gave it crazy eyes a little bit. Ah, yeah. But that's kind of a look, so I don't know. I might put it back in. Oh uh, well, I mean, I, I would say maybe you could either you could go maybe in the other direction too. Uh, Hello. Where like during this eye roll you know like like maybe after the eye roll like close it like like so so you do eye roll like blink close if this rig is capable of it i don't know how it is with the squishy eyes you know um close those and then kind of have an exasperated look as they reach for the phone to be like oh, 
how dare this person bother me, you know, like so, something like that, you know. Um, I, I like the, I like this arm going out here. The silhouette does get a little bit kind of compact, though. I have to, I have to figure out a way to sort of either shift this a little bit to make a clearer clear silhouette or bend it. Let's see, what if we... Would it be possible? I feel like it might not. To sort of like clean this up, maybe push it out further this way. Hello, hello, like really extend that out potentially. Um, I'm just worried about this little, uh, normally we try to avoid stacking the the like upper arm and forearm on top of each other because it makes like well, a little bit less clean. So yeah, I would just try to play around with bending that either way to sort of make that a little bit more clear. Uh, let's see. Hello. For the hello, like I, I'm imagining like, hello, like the torso to go up just a little bit hello. On, on that O, like, like we could just bring this a little bit higher, just very slight, very slight. Um, and then bring this clav down to sort of still make this elbow solid. The head would follow that, that torso movement so you get a little bit in the hello you know basically you're for something like like this where that character is like actually hitting notes you, you kind of want to mirror that in the in the body language as well you know just a little bit not too much though you don't want to go overboard we'll just take a little bit of experimentation and time to get a feel of it but yeah no yes yeah, so just just a little bit up up on O of hello. I think this only stays for one frame, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. The dead body. Did I ever tell you about the time that I found a dead body? Yeah, uh, th these Did arms, uh, be sure to just put in some moving holds, meaning uh, see how this hand hits the pose right there, the time that I found and then right there, body. and there. Uh, just instead of going, di 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 like you still want those poses in there, right? But just add a little polish, like a, like a little bit of ambient movement on that. Right. As it hits there, just have it kind of kind of just drift a little bit in space, just a little bit. Uh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Did I ever tell you about the because they did I ever tell you about the time that I had because like we're always moving as as humans, you know. Um, even if we look like we're sitting down, like we're always kind of slightly slightly moving. About the time that I found a dead body. <laughs> I like to look at the camera at the end. <laughs> He's really, he really just stares into our soul. Did I ever tell you about the time that I found a dead body? Make sure you don't clip the couch on the, with this hand. That I found a dead body. Right there. We are the dead body. <laughs> oh no, I hope not. I hope not, guys. But yeah, also, I, I, you, I can tell that you switched over to, to FK for the, these legs rotating because they're no longer uh, slipping through that couch. But yeah, looking great. Anyone, anyone else have any comments for, for Sammy? Any comments? Any notes? I have a question if that's okay. Yeah. 
Um, so I broke my phone constraint. It used to like look right and now it does not. Um, mm. I don't know what I did to it. Mm -hmm. But um, suddenly, even if I try and like reparent things, it just doesn't want to cooperate. And I don't know why. It could be the parent constraint in the scene. Um, because I, I don't know why either, you know, like I, I can't, I'd have to like look at the scene myself. So feel free to send it over to me. But um, yeah. if you look at, so let me just make two cubes right here. Um, you can just redo the, the, the constraint is what I'm recommending. Uh, so if I have one cube constraining another cube, so driver then driven and then rigging constrained parent. So now when I move this one, let's move another one. If you look, if you pop open your, uh, your outliner, which is in Windows, outliner, you can see that the other cube has a little node underneath it. And it's called the, the that's the, the actual parent constraint node. That's what's kind of attaching these two objects together. So if you want to undo that parent constraint, you can just click that parent constraint node and then delete. And now when you move it, it's not going to move the other one. So then you can just reset up your, your parent constraint. But yeah, so that, that should, uh, that should help. Um, any comments, questions from anyone? I like the camera work also in this one, the push in is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Did I ever tell you about the time that I found a dead body? Yeah, right. Uh, I like coming from this sort of like this far away angle. And then as soon as like, it really makes us as an audience be like, I wonder what they're going to do with this phone. This phone's definitely ringing right now. We need to see how the character reacts to it. Also the, the world they built around this character, it's nice. Little little barren living room. I like it. It's good. Yeah. I like the, the Victorian sort of looking furniture as well. For <laughs> context, man. this Rifted. character's a mummy, which makes no sense in a Victorian living room, but I just put a bunch of old things in a box. <laughs> I think, yeah, we've seen enough Scooby Doo to just buy mummies in any sort of setting. Yeah. I feel like, so, <laughs> so I think it works. Um, hell yeah, yeah. Sam, let me know if that that works for you. Deleting that parent constraint. Otherwise, uh, send the file my way, and I can, I can take a look see at it. Um, all right. Thanks. Thanks for sharing, Sam. Uh, Let's see, Ricardo is next. What do we got going on here? As you know, tomorrow is peace day, and nobody is as excited for the big celebration as I am. I am not scientifically possible. <laughs> <laughs> I see that we have some uh <laughs> we have some drawings of what's going to go on the background. I like this pose on this guy. Yeah, yeah, okay. As you know, tomorrow is peace day. And no so yeah, be, be sure to just write down here. Elbow kind of pops up, just make this a little bit more natural. Um, one thing about this is whenever you're whenever you're doing a pantomime sort of or like when, when we're moving like our upper body think about that waist right so so like so on peace day like feel free to feel free to just peace day like bring that up just a little bit we, we need a little bit of ambient movement on this waist and have that sort of follow the action of the of the, the dialogue you know? okay celebration as i am uh, something I, I like these choices here. Peace, peace day. Nobody is as excited for the big celebration as I am. Nobody is as excited for the big celebration as I am. Right now, the, the this arm swing, I like it. I like it. It's very like uh, tongue in cheek of a of a, of a choice. 
the, I would the timing say, feels off. Exactly. Like, yeah, you need yeah. to you need to either sync it up with as I am or uh wait, what's the other excited for the big celebration as I am? E either uh I think yeah, syncing it to big celebration, you know, big celebration and yeah. Uh the big celebration as I am. He is as excited for the big celebration. And the, the 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 torso kind of slowly tweens back. I would say, big celebration. Like have that have that weight uh, for the arm there, and then the shoulders a bit. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Celebration as I am. Not scientifically possible. And, and I'm not sure about this this sort of front leaning pose, you know, because he's he's very proud in this moment. No one's excited about this as I am, you know. Um, so I, I think a, a more back pose uh -huh. would read would read really well, and then you get the juxtaposition between that back leaning pose and this throw pose. Then so it kind of gives it, uh -huh. it it really pushes that sort of break in the scene there. So yeah, I, I think I think keeping them back would be pretty pretty good right there. And then 100% this is where you put in one of your breakdowns. Yeah. Right there before this in case anyone's forgetting what a breakdown is, it's like a it's the like our our end pose is this, right? But then our starting pose is somewhere right here or wh whatever it morphs into. Um, you need a pose that's like the breakdown kind of contains the anticipation and the timing of that. Uh, so it'd be something kind of preparing for that throw, right? So is his right arm would need to extend out, keep this over here make it clear that he's getting that ready right he's getting that yeah that that remote ready um and it depends on how we're going to go into this oh yeah um i think i'm gonna cut to a second cramp uh, camera after the guy screams i am oh okay and then it's just like You'll see him. It's the camera's probably going to be hot, be behind the the second guy. So. Ah, okay, behind the second guy. So we're gonna see we're gonna see a different angle on this then. Well, yeah, just make sure that that remote control or whatever reads really well in the hand before it, it sends over, um, and have this sort of getting ready to throw at that small minion guy. Yeah. I tried putting in a skeleton that I found in the uh, gum road, but it just doesn't work. And I'm like, God. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to find something, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so break down something like that. You can even maybe raise the the leg up like a foot, uh, not a baseball pitcher, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, just just to illustrate for people thinking about breakdowns and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that. Yeah, and then it goes on for way too long. In yeah. <laughs> Not scientifically possible. <laughs> I'm just gonna have him heavy breathing in the last part. Just yeah, just. Yeah, I like that. Just in, in like a in like a brooding pose, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, yeah. There's still a lot to do on this scene. Yeah. Um. Only have one week, so. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. If you need to if you need to crop, the scene, then then do so. But uh. But yeah, just be aware. This is due. Start a class next week. All right. Thank but you. Yeah, good stuff so far. I like it. Uh, any comments? Any any notes? Any questions?
All right. All right. Sounds like we're keeping on. All right. So Grecia next. Go. Kevin, don't Kevin. Kevin, 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 watch the light, dude. Kevin, don't Kevin. Kevin, 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 watch the light, dude. Kevin, don't Kevin. Kevin, 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 watch the light, dude. Kevin, 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 watch the light, dude. Kevin, don't Kevin. I don't know what this audio is from, but I love it. Uh oh, it's from a vine. Okay. Yeah. Damn. It's from the from the erased history of vines. I, I I I love I love a lot of these poses as well. It's it's basically we're 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 running into the same problem that a lot of people are where where you you have these these great poses, but then the the interpolation into them just needs a little bit of work. You need to either adjust the time like the oh Kevin 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 like like get get like really punctuate those notes um at the proper time. Kevin don't Kevin Kevin Kevin. Oh, is this the source material? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Kevin, don't Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Oh, I've seen this one actually. Like, dude. <laughs> Damn it, Kevin. <laughs> oh man. Dude, that's such a good clip. <laughs> He just warns him. Kevin immediately does not give a fuck and just dashes it. But yeah, so some of the like, like, like you might benefit from uh, from getting some of these in. It it, it looks to me like I mean, it looks like you're animating an FK right now. I would say you might benefit greatly from from tracking the these controls to a locator, transitioning that over to IK. Uh, that way you can kind of really control how far away they are from your 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 character but just yeah i i think i think you really benefit from that um just because you'll, you'll be able to move them into position rather than having to like counter animate like because if you want if you want like the hands to outstretch and stay there uh you'll have to sort of counter animate that you have to like bring the elbows down you know as the spine goes up so yeah the, I, I think it would be easier to animate an ik and, uh, and on on each of these like when, you, when they go kevin like feel please please try to get some of that uh like the spine rotating like so with, with, if you outstretch this let's see Like this, uh, I would say try to twist this spine a little bit, right? So try to get this. If I kind of just draw this as like a cube, you know, or like a sort of a cube, try to get that that middle line to sort of twist up around, and then we can maybe clear this silhouette. With, uh, with this arm so if you, if you get this hand past this and by by nature of twisting that body this this back arm is going to kind of go in right there um but yeah try to get this this arm to clear that silhouette we want we we don't want it to be all crowded up on top of each other It'll still read probably on top of itself, but we you should always be paying attention to that silhouette. Uh, there's an there's an ideal in animation where if you let me pop up Maya, if you don't have any sort of lights in your scene, like I don't right now, if you press seven, it's gonna turn on uh, light mode. And this, the general idea is that no matter if, if you play your scene in this mode, you'll still be able to tell what the character's thinking, right? So the reason that's an ideal is because I don't think that's personally possible for every single acting choice to be effectively communicated this way, right? Like if, if someone's if someone's like 
like trying to get as much warmth as they can or if they're really shut in on themselves like you you, you can th there's some acting choices where this sort of mindset won't quite work um but i i I, th I think it's a great practice to sort of play around with be like hey if i press seven what is my silhouette doing in this scene you know um it's amazing for action scenes as well it's really amazing for action scenes so if you have two characters fighting turn on seven mode and then you'll see a lot a lot of issues to be like oh this silhouette's not too clear i can't see that this guy's actually getting punched right here you know um but yeah so i, I would try to stretch this out break that silhouette up a little bit uh, get some hand poses in there too. You you have like this sort of just default one. You definitely need like a, a Kevin, like like like, a, like, a, like the the stop kind of universal sign for stop right there. Like stop. Um, Kevin, 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 watch the light, dude. On, I, I like this too. Like I feel like I see this pose on like every sort of video where like some teenagers like fuck up some property they're like oh like like it's it's just like a, like a kind of natural sort of pose for that i really like that choice there but but again like the how, how the, the arms kind of just slowly rotate into that instead they, they'd be outstretched and then oh like, like you, you have to get like a, a more direct arc that's why i think you'll greatly benefit from doing this in ik um and you might be able to send this scene to me and I'll, I'll show you how to do that how to transfer that over i showed it last class but i'm i, I think a lot of people could benefit from this again just to, to... Kevin, kevin watch the light dude kevin don't kevin 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 the, the 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 arms are kind of outstretched for a while here let's see. kevin don't kevin 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 like kevin don't kevin kevin so i i think i think I think maybe on the don't, maybe bring back the like, like you, like Kevin, Kevin, don't like, like do do some sort of other pose that's like, like like they're cringing almost like oh don't like don't oh fuck. like like something like that just to kind of add some some texture to the piece because right now at the beginning they're kind of like like hands are out and then like oh oh and then and then up to the head which is really good and then and then back out and in the 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 finish for the scene i think i think you could benefit from that kevin 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 watch the light dude i really like how much you're activating the the, the uh waist control though because that as you as you see in other ones like sometimes we we forget about that waist control in this one you're you're very willing to to mess around with it also feel free like it's gonna add a lot of realism to the scene if you just give that such a slight rotation just a slight one just a little bit because because we we don't always we don't always move our our waist like completely up and down and perfectly like sometimes we we get a little little bit a little bit of rotation there right so so please yeah p please feel free to get a little bit of rotation on the on those keys in there um nothing too big because otherwise it's going to look like unnatural but uh but yeah just a little bit in there kevin 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 watch the light dude kevin, don't kevin. <laughs> oh man i love this audio this is amazing good stuff good stuff um kevin don't kevin 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 watch the light dude I, I, you really nailed the. I think you matched uh, the the lip shape on that. Watch the light, dude, really well. Um, I think I think matching the the dialogue with the elbow, uh, the eyebrows will be really good. So like on the. Like on the watch the light, dude. So like like on that light, kind of since you're you're going up in your in the in the body animation. Let me switch over to a more visible. Like try to get the, this sort of shape in the eyebrows. You know, like the, watch the light, dude. Like and then and then settle a little bit, a little bit into a pose that's still similar but just a little bit more controlled. You know. 
the the, the first lip sync. Kevin, don't, Kevin, 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 watch. On on the Kevin's, you're gonna need to bring the jaw a bit down more. So to, to really pop that out, don't go super far to where it's like looks like it's tearing the, the, the jaw a bunch and looks unnatural, but just a little bit more pop on those. But yeah. Watch the light, dude. Kevin, don't Kevin. Kevin, yeah, Kevin, I, Kevin, watch this, the light, dude. This is fantastic. Though. Like you're, uh, you're, 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 I feel like your timing is, is really well on this. I think mean, the timing is really well. Just needs a little bit of uh, help with the, the sort of uh, naturalism, how those arms can move into those poses. Um, and yeah, this, this is great though. Uh, anyone else have any, any notes, comments, suggestions? I want to personally thank you for reviving Vine single-handedly. You <laughs> pulled off the greatest resurrection of all time. I love it. Vine is alive in my heart oh, and man. in your animation. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Wholeheartedly agree. There's so there's so many good vines. I didn't even think about vines for audio. Like there's there's so there's gotta be so many good ones though. Good treasure trove. Um yeah, if no if no one else has any comments, then we'll move on. But yeah, thank you for sharing. This one this is phenomenal. I like this. I'm excited to see where this one ends up. Um, Rosia and then Che right here. Eep. Let's close this one. <laughs> Kevin, watch the light, dude. I'm watching Kevin, this. Don't, Kevin, 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 watch the light, dude. This <laughs> he he takes he looks at it for so long. What the Oh man. All right. Let's see what we got. Immediately I'm liking this posing. Oh, uh, uh, but I do see that thumb is really high up on that hand. Uh, it's if you try to get that pose on your regular thumb, it, it like maxes out about a little bit halfway. I would I would say I would say move this thumb a little bit back here. Get it a little bit, a little bit back in there. Um, let's see what, what we got though. Let's look at the actual scene. Hey, hey, will you stop doing that? Ganon will know where we are. Hey, oh. hey, <laughs> hey, will you stop doing that? Ganon will know where we are. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this is coming along really nicely. So I'd say I'd say get to this pose on on this frame. So on fifty seven, you'll you'll basically just grab all the body and and, and shift it over a, a few frames. So get it, doing that, like like get get that doing that note punctuated right because that's the moment that they're like telling that other character that's what's happening doing that you know they're they're really syncing it up there so yeah definitely yeah i, I like this as well yeah again th this is a little, a little bit delayed as well so if you if you shift that over i think a lot of this will just line up better and these poses are fantastic fantastic posing very clear. A, a great fold out. It, go, it goes a little bit too fast, though. That's why I'm, I think if you if you move a, everything a little bit further, uh, a little bit forward, wait, a little bit earlier on the timeline, then then you'll get more time for this part right here, how it how it goes up into that pose. Um, yeah yeah this is this is coming along hey, nice hey, will you stop doing that Gana will know where we are yeah so hey, hey, will you stop doing that Gana will... hey, hey, yeah hey, will you stop doing that 
yeah, so it, it, everything's just gonna need to shift over a little bit earlier, but you can still keep all like all your animation that you've you've done in there. It's just it's just I think the timing change only. Um, it will take a, a a while to do, uh, just because timings retiming stuff is just kind of difficult. But you know, everything in animation is difficult, so <laughs> so it makes sense. But yeah, I, as long as you really punctuate these notes, like doing that, will you stop? doing that you know and again we'll know where we are like that that stuff like the, the the biggest the biggest part of the action needs to mirror the biggest part of that dialogue you know uh and that that's that's a general note for just the entire class as well like because we, right now we, we have like a little bit of swimmy animation swimmy meaning it's kind of just drifting around um and not punctuating these these phrases at the exact right moment um but yeah this is <laughs> hey, hey, hey will you stop doing that Gannon will know where we are hey and i'm guessing in, in the final the hey. Uh, the fairy will do like the hey 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 like the the on each of those on each of those haze the fairy will kind of bob down a little bit. You stop doing that. Ganon will know where we are. Hey. Oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, and then this this pose, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, this would be great. Yeah, I'm. I honestly, besides that, I have no. Uh, I have no notes really. Like that's. It's just gonna be timing, and then once, once you get the that that lip sync in there, this is gonna read really clearly. All the all the emotion already reads really clear. Um. So as, as soon as you get those lips, matching the dialogue there, then uh, I, I would retime the body first before doing that, because otherwise you risk accidentally retiming your lip dialogue that's always a uh, an issue but uh but yeah this is phenomenal phenomenal uh, I, I love where this is going <laughs> um anyone anyone else have any uh comments questions notes i love the composition here the framing is really really well mm -hmm. um and so is uh you're using a really good rule of thirds and i don't know if you're if you recognize that you have Zelda kind of leading into the left side of the screen, and that helps a lot because it just, I don't know, it works really well in the scene. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Very, very balanced, very just solid, you know. Um, yeah, like rule of thirds, it's a great thing to fall back on, guys. Fantastic, you know. Um, yeah, sta the staging is, is great in this. other notes <laughs> all righty then all right then we're moving on to the next one so only two more and then we will go head off to oh wait no three more and then we'll head off for break then we'll resume so let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Immediately, I'm seeing two characters in this scene. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be wild. If you can find this cave, you are not going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. Because we'll die? No. Well, if you can find <laughs> this cave, you are not going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. Because we'll die? No. <laughs> so this is, uh, I think this is what, My Brother my brother and Me or, or Adventure Zone? It's the, it's the uh, McElroy, McElroy. It's if, those brothers. If, they're, they're famous on the internet, you know. If you can find this cave. And they're, they're amazing for, for dialogue as well. Um, a lot of just YouTube personalities in general. Uh, you can always find good audio clips if you can find this cave you are not going to have to worry about money 
ever, ever again. So this, I do like that the, these, this is a good example of, of wastes kind of doing those moving holds, kind of drifting a little bit. Uh, Sometimes, uh, you, oh my God. You can find this cave. You are not going to have to worry see about how they're money not, see ever, how they're not ever, ever again. They're not getting completely 100% still. No. Well, if you can find this cave, you are not going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. You are not going to... Oh, oh we had another submission into... Okay, so... It... It's going to be a little bit longer before we head off for break. That's fine. I want to, I want to get the break. I want to get all these done before break. I'm going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. Because we'll die? So for this scene, you're not going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. So are, are you, these basic poses that you have in here are pretty are pretty good. Um. But now you, you yeah, kind of need no. to break it down in, into more uh, specific notes, I think. So let's just go through this. You are not going to have to worry about money. You are not going to have to worry about money. Okay. You are not going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. So for... Ever, ever. Ever again. I, I'm thinking something like on, on this ever ever. Like I, I'm thinking that they're they're not thinking. This, sorry for using thinking so much, but there this character is not thinking about any worries, right? They're saying you're not gonna have to worry about money ever, ever again. So that's almost like it, it sounds like a dream to them, right? Uh so I, I'm kind of picturing them with their eyes closed, maybe on the ever, ever, and then and then maybe on the on the again. That's when we get into this pose, you know. So we hold this pose off. Have to worry about money. You are not not going to have to worry about money ever, ever. And they're thinking about no, right? They're thinking about no worries. No worries. So I'm th kind of thinking like ever, ever again, you know. So so something kind of just they're in their own mind dreaming about that money, you know. So like they 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 kind of eyes closed, kind of like contemplating it ever, ever again, you know. So that's what that's kind of what I'm thinking for this ever, ever again. So on the and I, I would keep them a little bit angled sort of this way and then do a, a slight sort of like eyes closed ever you could keep the, the you could keep the arms lower like ever ever again I can keep the arms lower down for this maybe for the ever ever That's one ever right there, hands down here, kind of, kind of like a whoops. Oh shoot! There we go. There we go. So arms down here. Let's erase this. My God. And then on the second ever. ever you could you could maintain that that first pose can we do can we see the yes does this work no i was trying to get onion skin from the last one but but yeah keep and then this is when you do your your little shake they're they're thinking no no worries keep those still low and then on the again. on the again, that's when that's when you get the this this pose that we have here. I'm thinking because because right now you're basically in like three or four poses for the entire thing, you know. 
Um, we, we need a little bit more detail with, with what these characters are thinking. Well, and then for this, because we'll die. No, well, if you no, because we'll die. No. So on on this no, I'm kind of thinking like like they're they're gonna the, the, their default is like no, you're not gonna die. So I'm thinking maybe something appeal like like they're no. appealing to them. So maybe maybe lean a little bit closer to the other character. And then like a no, like a like kind of shutting down, like no, like like give them like a, a hand down, like a the reassuring sort of uh, no, like this. And then so if you have something like that, if you have like a, a no, then you get the option to sort of like, well then turn it up into that well that you have on the next pose. Oh, well. So be like, no, well, like, like they kind of think about it and like, well, well, if, going to, if you can find this cave, you are not going to have to worry about money ever, ever again. If you can find this, so I'm thinking, you can find this. Like right now, that this sort of section in here is a little bit flat. You can find this. Both cave. the characters are just in one pose. You are not going to have to work. So we we, we need to you spice can find this, up. this cave. You are not going to have to worry about money ever ever again. You so I'm thinking, maybe you could switch this. If up. you can find this cave. You are not going to have to worry about. So maybe gesture towards them on that. You you could find this, like because they're they're right. If you could find this cave and then go back to the to this, this but then you're you immediately going to that. So it's a little bit of repetition there. It might not be the best. Maybe that they seem a little bit suspicious. You might want to you change it up. Find this. Like if if they have their arms crossed and they're like, if you could find this cave. You like that, then break into the scene. You no, if you know what I'm saying, kind of. that might work. Could go for the arms crossed again. Uh, that 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 might be a big change for the scene that you not quite like. But then you'll have to you'll have to address the uh, you have to address the sort of stagnant pose, uh, not pose, uh, stagnant amount of time that they're holding these first poses for. Um, I'm kind of fine with you not animating this character as much because as you can see that they're right here like they're, they're just in one pose for the whole i'm kind of down for that um you could also potentially animate just this character on the framing so you, you kind of crop in on the framing and then this character would be off screen and then you only animate them for this this part you'll snap over to you'll you'll basically change the shot to be behind this person's head looking at this character and then it could do the because we'll die like you could go from this pose into this something like there because one we only have one more week on this and this It'd be a lot to animate two characters like this. I think kind of cropping in, keeping the other person off frame, and then just having a, a little cut to because we'll die, and then back to this person to have a little, I, little no. two point con, convo. Because we'll die. No. Well, if you can. But yeah. But yeah. So it's coming along. It's coming along. I'm a little bit nervous because it's, it's not as far and it's, and it's like, it's a lot of dialogue in this one. Like, this is, this is a, it's a lot of dialogue to cover, but you're making good progress on it though. So you can find this. Keep in cave. mind, you only have one week. You left are on not this. going to have to worry about money 
ever, ever again. But yeah. All right. All so right. I Any other comments, questions from the people? All right. That doesn't sound like anyone's got anything. All right. Thanks for sharing. This is I'm I'm always excited to see some uh, McElroy brothers dialogue. I'm 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 hyped to see where it goes though. You know. Uh, let's close this. Here we go. I like how everyone's primarily using the uh, Zelda rigs. It's funny. Um, so let's play this one. Let's see what we got. It gives you a real sense of clarity. It gives you a real sense of clarity. It gives you a real yeah. Sense so this was the this was the one that I was worried about for the uh, for the uh, for the dialogue because there's like twelve seconds of just constant talking and notes to hit. Yeah, it speaks so fast. Yeah, it gives you a real yeah. sense of clarity. A real sense of clarity. So I, I immediately like simplifying it down. Um, I would be, this is a little bit it too short now though, sense of clarity. because it's it like, a, it's like a what? Real sense of clarity. It gives you a All right. uh, 45 clarity. frames. So that's like a second and a half. And so you're going to need to add some back in or maybe take part of the scene afterwards. Um, because that's like a one and a half seconds. Then you have people animating like 12 seconds for this assignment. So, um, so definitely get get some more time back in there. It gives you a real sense of clarity. It gives you a real sense of clarity. It gives you a real but I like, sense I like of the clarity. springiness you that you're kind of getting in here. It gives you a real sense of clarity. That, that sort of experimentation is going to get you. It gives you a real sense of clarity. Give you give you a good idea of how to get that, like how you, how do you kind of match the flow of of the conversation, you know? Um, but yeah. Oh, did you see, did you fix the? Uh, you said you're having issues with the controls, sort of giving acting up and giving you problems. Uh, were you able to to figure that out? Uh, because I'm 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 very down to to yeah, I'm I'm down to to take a look at the file and uh, figure out what's going on. Uh, I already have to do that with um, Ray's scene, I believe. I think it was raised. Yeah, um, we got to do some. Can you send that to you through break? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna eat a little bit of some over break, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm basically once we get back from break, it's just gonna be working in class and me resolving any problems. Or if, if you guys are like, man, this is really slow to animate this part. Is there a faster way? Like, like how we. How I showed you guys how to do the uh, the hands, like being uh, like tracked to things, you know. Um, but yeah, so so we'll 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 take a look at that stuff after break. Um, but yeah, that gives you a real sense of clarity. That gives Good you a stuff real so far. sense of clarity. Good that gives stuff. you a real sense of clarity. That gives you a real sense of clarity. That gives you a real sense of clarity. That gives you a real sense of clarity. Yeah. That gives you a real sense of clarity. Lots of uh, lots of dynamics and how you how you, you move. A real sense of clarity. That gives you a real sense of clarity. That gives you a real sense yeah. of clarity. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Yeah, definitely. I, Add more on here because it's just a little bit unfair to everyone else that just doing a lot of long dialogue scenes, you know. Uh, but I do remember that the dialogue before this was kind of wild. So maybe, maybe try to like if if there's more dialogue after that scene and find a good stopping point in there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, all right, then on, let's see what on's got going for us. It's not so bad. Uh, it, it's okay. I, uh, it's not so bad. Uh, it, it's okay. Yeah. I, uh, 
it's not so bad. Um, uh, it's it's okay. I I I so I'm really liking the the posing and the timing in here. Um. so bad oh uh, sorry it's not so bad. spam you guys um it's not so bad uh, for for these it's already in there uh yeah so so on these frames where it kind of hits the pose uh basically just do a moving hold on this remember how how we've been talking about that so basically you have two keys that are the same like right here like on 31 and 23 so so either like when they settle into that it's not so bad like have have that like the hand like go up into the pose and then down a little bit you know just, just kind of gently you know um don't do it high frequency. In fact, I would probably just go to this pose right here. And I would just change this to be a little bit lower, you know. So wait, let's do that. Let's go white. So it's easy to see. So just slightly lower. Like this is how this is how little of a difference I'm talking, you know. Like something just slightly different. It's the same pose, right? It's just not the exact same, so it's going to eliminate that that illusion of us hitting the wall, you know. Um, you could bring the waist just slightly lower too, just so slightly, guys. Just a little bit, you know. Nothing crazy. Um, there we go, and then lower these shoulders because the waist is lower. Um, you might want to break up this silhouette though, right here. How you have this. So let's go back. I like the I like the hand up that high. Um, it might be impossible to break the silhouette for this, but maybe try moving the, the clav up a little bit on this side. So then this gets this elbow might get higher and then try to lower this down because if you press seven on this right it's just going to be one black mass right there um however given these the size of these shoulder pads it might not be possible to break the silhouette there but give it a go give it a go see what you can do with it um uh, it's, it's okay i, I, I th this is this is all from from here on out i think it's really well timed it's okay. and the poses you're hitting are really are are communicating effectively uh i really like how the, the, the character looks away from the other character um and and like it, it, you can tell that the the character's withdrawing mentally from the other character because they're trying to think of a way to make the situation okay right so I, I I like that you turn the character's entire body away from the other one. It's 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 it's, it's powerful. It says a powerful statement. It's okay, I uh, it's not so bad. Um, uh, it's it's okay. I uh, uh, it's not so bad. Um, uh, it's it's okay. Yeah, the, the only thing is that like these poses are so different from each other that they kind of they kind of they kind of read all over the place. Like it's not so bad. It's it's okay. You might benefit actually from adding a little time in the dialogue, like on one of these, just to give yourself a little bit more time to blend from this pose to this pose, so it doesn't read all over the place. You know, might be might be good to explore. Might not have to though, you know. I'm not I'm not super bothered by it. I love this pose. Eliminate the twinning by offsetting one of these arms keys by like two. Like just just select all the arm controls in here and then select all the keys for that part. And just kind of move them over like one or two keys or like either before or after that one to eliminate the the it's okay. Like you you kind of want it to be like it's okay. It's okay. 
like, like you can have one of those notes hit at the same time, you know, because they, they do, but having them like both at the same time throughout all of it it's okay. is a little bit, it, it, feel, it feels just like rigid that way. So, so maybe it's okay. It's okay. Like you can, you can end up on the same note, but like, just try and try to give it a little, little bit of offset. Uh, if you don't like that, if you try that and it doesn't look great, you can also eliminate twinning by in terms of posing, right? So if you, you can keep the same timing of these, but if you have them hitting in different, different, uh, like magnitudes, right? So if, if on this down, you have one go down further than the other. Like if you had this, this one stay lower and then this one in the front go not as low, but then have like the, 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 the posing a little bit different, you know, you can eliminate twinning that way as well. So, so there's a, there's a few options there. Um, I would try the timing first and see how it goes. It's okay. I, uh, it's not so bad. Uh, also, does this character have the ability to remove the face mask so we can and have like a, a face control? Hell yeah. All right. Cause you honestly have a great, you have a great base for the, the body animation right now. Like this is, this is, this is in a good spot. Oh, bad. It's okay. I, uh, it's not so bad. Um, let's see. It's, it's okay. Oh, on, on this, on this arm right here. And these, keep your face mask on, COVID. <laughs> 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 uh, on uh, frames 111 to 116. Uh, engage the, these these arms again like this this upper arm control because you see how on this first pump up they go up and then down oops, go up and down and then they don't go up and down again just have them go a little bit up just a little bit in and, and, and these uh because like if, if there's ever a control on your character that just gets locked up like that it, it looks it's it stands out you know so and and try to have the the waist do either like a little bit of overshoot and settle okay. into moving hold for the end because because you look at the waist because it, it's it's uh, moving throughout the scene it's, it's, it does hit these plateaus so i'd so say bad. try to get that uh, see how it it's not so hits bad. right there boom boom uh, boom it's, it's boom okay. so so try to get the the hips to kind of gracefully move between each of those poses you know that way it doesn't that way it does you don't hit these plateaus you see where it, it, it gets into the pose and then stops and then rotates like do do something during this time or make these two keys slightly different you know so then like that waist is always kind of moving a little bit and especially at the end right here you know it's okay Keep keep that overall pose because it's a, it's a good pleading pose. It's okay, you know. But yeah, yeah. I like I like this raising the the shoulders up. On that shoulder raise, I would raise the the hips up as well a little bit, uh, like kind of withdraw a little bit because they're like uh, not so sure about that. Um, but yeah, phenomenal work. I, I'm I'm excited to see where this this goes. Yeah, this is a great, a great base for the for the animation. Just uh, some lip syncing and then polishing up some transition type stuff. You know, uh, anyone else have any other, other comments for on? All right, sounds. Sounds like everyone's uh, pleased with the scene so far. All right. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for thanks for sharing. That, that was a. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what ends up. It's looking great so far. And then we close this. And we close this. And here we go. My son has a gift. He has a gift, and. 
My son has a gift. He has a gift and yeah. My son has a gift. He has a gift and I like yeah. Th th this one's this one's good. Um, the the danger though now is when you go to spline tangents, right? Because right now this is in stepped. It looks good in stepped, but I can see that there's a little bit too much variance. There's a little bit. My son has oh, a yeah. gift. He has a gift, and yeah, my son I, has well, a gift. The, basically, everything looks like it's 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 good, and then you're gonna go into spline tangents, and then it's gonna take a lot of polish. And that's kind of like the workflow when you work with uh, stepped. Um, but I mean, it's looking great so far. I, I, I don't. He has a gift, and my son has a gift. He has a gift, and my son has a gift. He has a gift, and my son has a gift. He has a gift, and my son has a gift. He has a gift, and my son has a gift. He has a gift, and yeah, my son has a gift. Yeah, like but when you spline this out, this front hand is probably going to go flying all over the place. Right here, you see throughout this. My son has the gift. But yeah, I don't know. It was, it's just honestly, you need to move it into spline tangents and see how it, how it works out. You know, um, feel free to like uh, delete keys if there's like if they're fighting each other when you spline them. Um, but uh, but yeah, there shouldn't be too much fighting because it looks pretty good. Uh, but I don't know. It's all it's, when you go into spline tangents, it's always un, unpredictable. You know. So, yeah. He has a gift and my son. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's uh, <laughs> I wish I had more to say. Like, it's just, it looks good so far. I just want to see what spline tangents looks like. You're nailing all like the, 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 the posing. Like, if you press seven on this scene, you would definitely know exactly what the character's thinking. Uh, the, 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 the my facial expressions, my, my, and I can see the, the, the phonemes that I can see. They look like they're matching up really well son has a gift he has a gift and my son has a gift yeah yeah i don't know anyone else have any any comments any comments at all any notes any notes for maria all right that's that sounds sounds like we're we're done so then um so let's go hit up some snack time get get hydrated again uh let's see what time is it it's almost 6 30. let's meet back here at seven mm, let's see what would be five yeah let's meet back here at seven ten so 710 will be back in class and then I'll be basically, I'm going to show us how to, to transfer into IK controls uh, with, with Red9 uh, because some, some people's scenes will greatly benefit from that, like the Kevin one, the Kevin, Kevin. Uh, I think that one will greatly benefit from that. Um, and then I'll also show just how we can, like if, you, if you're running into problems, I know uh i know ray and sammy are having some issues with their rigs so i'm gonna help everyone out with that as well uh but yeah so be back here 710 and uh yeah get back into it right when i switch to ik notice how it doesn't follow that right because that that animation doesn't exist on um on the, the, these controls right the ik controls are a different set of controls than the fk controls you don't have the keys on there. Also, right, it appears as though you have to zero out the, um, the, the it shares this elbow between them somehow. Wait, let's, let's one second. Let me do some investigating real quick for, for Ray. Uh, let's see this. So I bet if I zero this out. So 
switched it. Okay, there you go. Uh, okay, yeah, Ray, that's super weird. Uh, the FK shoulder affects the IK elbow, so watch out for that. You'll have to just go switch over to, to FK, select the shoulder control, and then zero that out, and you should be good. Let me undo this though, so we can get back to where we're. All right, so say I wanted to try to get this over to IK mode, right? Because I animated this in FK. Uh, my, my workflow is track everything with locators and then switch to IK and then track those IK controls back to those locators that we just put in the scene. So create locator. And it's super tiny, apparently. Wait, no, it might just be vizzed off. Show locators. Oh my God, where is it? There we go. And I'm going to actually go to Windows because my locators is super small. So I kind of want to size that up. If you scale the locator, then it's going to apply the scale to the whatever you track, uh, unfortunately. So let's not do that. Instead, we can go to our settings and set our scale to meters, which is very dope. And now we begin the act of tracking each of these arms, right? So I'm going to duplicate this locator around. Three of them in the scene. I'm going to select that shoulder and then select my first locator. And then I'm going to use red nine, right? And remember, you can start up red nine from your script editor by going to that tab that we had this code copied into and pressing the play buttons. However, if you want a faster way to do that, remember, you can always select this code, middle click drag onto your bar up here. And then it'll, oops. It'll pop open a, a blank button like this. It'll look like this right here. You can just edit that button. And then you'll see that it's running that command. Go into your shelf and change the icon label to red nine. Boom, there you go. So then you have a, a nice little red nine button that you don't, you don't have to open up the script editor. And then if you close Maya like this, it's going to say this. Uh, I've seen this in a nightmare before, probably to the broken arm, I'm guessing, Benny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then, then you can just go to red nine and then that'll, that'll run it for us. That way we don't have to go all the, all the way to the script editor every time. We just have a nice little button in our, in our uh, toolbar over here. Uh, so yeah, so first step, click shoulder, because that's the driver, and the driven, the locator, because we want to drive that locator with the shoulder. And I'm just going to snap transforms right here. Boom. There we go. So now that that locator is keeping track of where that FK arm was moving. Next, we do elbow. And we just, I'm just shift left click dragging over that timeline to select it. <clears throat> and then snapping those transforms again. Doing the same thing with the wrist. So they're all tracked, boom. So now we have those three locators in space, exactly where that arm should be. Now we go in and we switch over to IK. So now we're one on IK. And immediately we can start tracking back to those locators. So this is the wrist one. So I'm just gonna track that wrist first or, or snap that wrist to that locator for every frame. That's why we use red nine because it makes it a lot easier, less tedious. So snap transforms, boom, there we go. So now we have that arm moving exactly where it goes. We got pretty fortunate on the elbow. Um, unfortunately for this Mary rig, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of not, um, traditional in how its shoulder affects it. So let's let's see if we can get this working. Um, constant climb goal. Global. Let's try that. I don't know. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, so that's, that's it's kind of unfortunate that I'm demonstrating this. I'll demonstrate on the Lincoln Zelda rig, but uh, normally what we'd have to do is go in to our IK control back here, and we need to track that IK control to this elbow, uh, and then to the elbow locator from before. And you could uh, you could also turn off rotation because you don't really need to rotate that control. It's just a translation only. So make sure you can keep that turned off, and it should work. Boom, right there. Uh, remember, Ray, for the Merry Rig, it's unfortunate because you have to go into you have to go into FK and delete the keys on this. Um, on this FK control, make them all zero, make it zero throughout that. And let's see if let's see if that works in IK. Right there. Oh my god, you can see you can see the problems that it's causing. I I don't like this Merry Rig at all. Me and the Merry Rig are not friends. Um I'm not gonna do elbow lock. No. Yeah, that's just that's just garbage. I can see why you had so many, so many issues on the walk cycle with the legs because they're under the same control scheme. Um, very unintuitive, very unintuitive, not a fan of it. Um, we could always just track this elbow control to that very same one right there. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this Mary Rig. I'm not gonna recommend this to future students oh my god yeah look at this it was garbage look at this garbage dude. oh my god let's get a key on this yeah this is so whacked up not a fan yeah no i i would never use this rig this is this thing is like so messed up. Must be me that's wrong. No, I, I legitimately believe that this rig is kind of awful. I think you have to work with, um, cause you saw how it was working before and it like tracked it, but then now it's deciding to just die. Uh, I think this rig is not great. I do not like this rig. Not intuitive at all. And yeah, it's free. I shouldn't be complaining, but you know, I don't know what this is driving up. One second, let me, let me look into something real quick. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm never going to recommend this rig to anyone. This thing's awful. This thing is awful, dude. I don't know. It, it, <clears throat> it's so commonly used, though, that I would have to trust that it's me that's fucking up somehow. But I don't know. Like, look at that. We went, we went, we snapped into IK and it looked perfect. So if we snap back into IK be perfect and then as soon as we drag on the timeline it messes up and it's just there forever so i think it, i think it's just giving us a lot of maybe this viewport display issues but i don't know i wouldn't trust it um i'll go into i'm gonna go into a zelda rig and do the same thing So bear with me while this opens up. All right, let's see if we can get some, uh, let's see if we can snap from 
F K to I K. So let's get into F K. It's this little gear right here. Make sure we're using the right controls. F K forearm. Yep, looks like it. Upper arm. There we go. All right. So I'm going to key those. I'm going to do the same same setup as before. Boom. Bang, don't worry about it. It is broken looking, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, so we have that motion. Same thing as before. I'm going to create locators in the scenes a bit tiny, so I'm going to adjust the scene size, preferences, settings, meter, boom, done. Duplicate twice for each control, and then select the shoulder, and red nine, snap that, translation and rotation. And then do the same thing for elbow, snap transforms. Because we need to track all these FK controls, right? And then now they're all floating in space. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And if we go back to channel box and go into IK, which is these free floating ones, remember the ones that you can kind of move around, free form and rotate. Uh, first order of business, I'm going to track, I'm going to click that, the FK wrist locator and the IK. And then I'm going to red nine, uh, snap transforms. Boom, let's see, there we go. Look at that bad boy already going, looking pretty nice. Um, then we could even go in to this one and track that little pull vector to that elbow. Uh, remember for the pull vectors, we don't need rotation. We can just do translation. And there you go. So you really only need those two for that for that direction, um, and uh, for for going from IK to FK, you would simply need to track um, the joint inside here inside the arm. So you'd probably have to go into a display layer. Let's see if it's visible. Skeleton, yeah. So you go in there, boom. Track that that forearm to a locator, and then when you uh, or, uh, track a locator to that forearm, and then when you go into um, FK, that locator was exactly where that arm was, and then you just track that that elbow to it. So it's, it's just simple tracking back and forth. It'll just take a little bit to get used to. Um, a little bit tedious, yeah, but like, think about how tedious it is to like try to like place a hand on something in FK and have it look clean. Like it's just not gonna, it's not gonna be good. That's, that's gonna take way too long. So way better to just, you know, track stuff with locators and have it work that way. Um, but yeah, so that's it for that little tutorial. Um, the rest of the class, I'm just going to be putting out fires, helping people with their scenes Mary, uh, wait, I mean, uh, Ray, I'm sorry that Mary is going to be a bit of a trouble for you. Um, I would say keep going with that scene, though. You know, uh, it won't be easy. It's just, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, but I mean, your scene's coming along really well. So I, I wouldn't want you to just like ditch it. We will divorce after this performance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is, uh, I normally don't. A cheer for a divorce, but when a rig is giving you problems like this, my God, you got to get out of there. 
Um, all right, so as far as other problems go, we have the constraint issue with Sammy's. So let's go to downloads. Let me sort by newest. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to grab the rig on my side. One second. I'll follow the link that you sent. Got a dumper. Yep. Yep. Sorry to say, but yeah. So let me get this rig real quick. Version 2.0, okay, let me grab that. I'm going to control X. Actually, yeah, sure. Uh, desktop. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's set up. Now I need to browse for this rig. So Sammy, if I send this file back to you and you want to use it, you're gonna have to rebrowse for your your rig wherever it goes. But uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna find mine. Some scenes. Fep. Here we go. Hopefully it works. All right. Oops. There we go. All right. So let me see what's going on here. Windows, Outliner. Locator is parent constrained. Oh. Parent constrained. Oh, there's a parent constraint on that as well. Oh, okay. That might be what's going on. I believe there's a parent constraint. Let's see.
Alright, I'm just going to delete. Okay. I'm just going to delete this parent constraint. Let's see if everything works still. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to get this into like a default pose on there, on the phone. Okay, so basically, Sammy, what I did was I deleted everything. I deleted the parent constraints in here, and I made the phone a child of that locator. See how the locator's higher in the hierarchy than, than the phone? That, that poly surface 100 is a child of that locator. So now we're going to constrain that locator on the correct frame. And it seems to be this one. So I'm going to copy and paste into there. There and then I'm going to click the wrist because the driver, then click the locator, that's the driven constraint parent right there. And that blend parent node, that new one, I'm just going to key on this frame. Key selected. I'm going to go back one frame, right? Because now it's following the hand one to one, which is cool, but we want it to not follow and then follow from here. So let's go one frame before this. I'm gonna go blend parent one. I'm gonna set that to zero. Boom. There we go. And whenever you want to key this now, select that phone, like select the phone mesh. Don't don't mess with the uh, don't mess with the locator. It's just going to be easier that way. So mess around with that mesh. I would just get it into a nice handheld position here, you know. And probably just leave it there for most of the scene, you know. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, do you want me to send this file back to you somehow? Yes, that would be very iconic. I remember like 50% of what just happened. Yeah, no, it's fair. It's good. It's because there's just a lot of uh, first basically I had to delete all, all the parent constraints and then pose the phone back on the on the holster. Do another parent constraint there as it grabs and then key that parent constraint off. Um, I also did a little detail of having the phone be a parent, uh, be a child of that locator, not through parent constraining, but through regular parenting. I know it's really dumb that they're called the same thing, uh, but uh, but yeah, once once you get it figured out, it's, it's pretty pretty simple, pretty nice and simple. So I'm going to send that back to you now. Uh, I think it's too big for me to send. I think it's too big. Let me 
say seen as body seven fix. And then let me try to email this to you. Uh, I don't, I'll email it to you through Beach Board. Let's try that. Seven classes. Same now. All right, so that's gonna try to, uh, it's gonna be a little bit before it fully attaches and everything, and then I can send it over. Word, thank you for saving my life today. No problem, that's what, that's what I'm here for. Mike, completely irrelevant. How are your monitors arranged and how many do you have with how much you look back and forth at various things and imagine copious amounts of screens? No, nah, we're, we're not dealing with any sort of Batman Dark Knight scenario. It's just, I, got, I just got two in my place but it's just it, it, they're they're kind of big so it's like a 27 incher and then another 27 incher so it's kind of kind of big distance to cover but um but yeah super useful for like 3d stuff because there's like a bunch of menus sometimes i'll just keep my graph editor on my other monitor and then that way i don't have to like have it open over the character uh it's pretty nice that way uh what else do i use it for just a lot of things like I'll be because I'm I, I'm working on a game, you know, so I'll have I'll have my source code on one monitor and then the actual unity on the other monitor. It's very useful. RGB lights everywhere. <laughs> Gotta have the light up keyboard. Oh man, my keyboard's some old uh, wireless keyboard that's like dying. So maybe I'll upgrade to a gamers a gamers keyboard pretty soon. But who knows? Let's see. All right, so semi, same fix, same constraint fix. Oh, you have a you have a dying wireless keyboard as well, Benny. Sammy, we're getting trashed right now. Just so you know, Beachboard just said that the entire email exceeds the allowed email size. I'm going to send this to you through. Do students have access to OneDrive? So is, is that a thing? I think so. There's okay. a Let's button it for it. Let's give it a go, right? <laughs> I've never uh, used it before. That was my logic as well, yeah. Um, let's try it. There we go. Item. 
right. All right, it is on OneDrive. I'm going to I'm going to message you. I'm going to send it to you. I'll send it to you on Discord. See me. There you go. All right, so try clicking that link and downloading it from there. Let me know if that works for you. Okay, I think it worked. Hell yeah. Opening it right now. Nice, nice. You'll have to re-forward to the wherever the rig is on your on your comp, but everything okay. else should work. For sure. It works. Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Well, besides that, everything else is just working class time. Um, hit me up if you need help, like snapping something to IK or FK or whatever. Feel free to send me the file. Um, if you change something and you want to get my eyes out again, feel free to send me a video of that at Play Blast and I'll be able to look at it. Uh, yeah, David asks a, a great question. Um, he's wondering if uh, we should download, if, if you're interested in modeling for your little area of study, then should you download ZBrush for next week? And I say yes. I say yes. Uh, hold off on that, though, until like the day before class, um, because you'll be working on a trial. So uh, the, the more time you have with that trial, the better, uh, because you, I think you will have to do one. If you're going to do both of your projects for, for modeling, then I, I think you have to do, uh, uh, multiple emails for ZBrush and just scan them that way. Um, uh, it's not really scanning They're They're allowing it in their system, but, uh, but yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Um, so how many of you are thinking about doing modeling for the next uh, next project? Do some ZBrushing. Mm. Yeah, three, three of y'all, four, hell yeah. And how many for uh, animation? How many people are looking to explore animation a little bit more? Ray Ricardo, very nice, very nice. Maria, hell yeah. <laughs> I like the little raised hand <laughs> text emoji. <laughs> 
yeah, awesome. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so basically, next class is going to be one, it's a check in with Animation 4 again. So we'll get to see some other cool stuff. Uh, that'll be towards the end of class, though, most likely. Um, because I want to get Z brushers started off Z brushing as fast as possible. So, um, so we're probably going to open up the class. I'm going to immediately jump into some Z brush, show you guys. The basics of that, um, animation people, you're just going to be plotting a scene that you can pull off in, in three weeks. Uh, I'd prefer something a little bit more body mechanics with something cool, but, um, you know, can I give up on sleep and do both? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ricardo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, if, if you didn't die, then I guess potentially, but sleep is very important. I would not, I would not go against getting enough sleep because your body starts to crumble. All right, I, I there's one time during college where I didn't sleep so much that I was starting to hallucinate, and I was like, I need to go to bed. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It was pretty bad. But yeah, all right. Sounds like we got a good little group of z brushers in here and then animators and then benny's doing some blendery stuff benny's doing some blendery stuff does anyone not know what they want to do for the project 